This is just one drink. So they've got the ticket. Now the drink is an old fashioned. So immediately they're gonna go into work. And these are, these are steps that normally happen one after the other, but here they're happening simultaneously. Where Steven's getting the drink ready. He's building the drink itself. And meantime, Tyler is getting all the ingredients ready that he needs. So he's got his uh, glass full of ice. He's got his ice in his shaker. And so, you know, these are, these are simultaneous steps rather than, you know, one bartender having to do everything one after the other. I can break down the, the theory behind this in a little more detail. I'm, I don't want to like overwhelm with kind of information, but basically there's four steps that we think about in drink making. There's building it, there's uh, getting your uh, ice and glass ready. There you go. So that was about 60 seconds, I would say. All right, so this is a five drink ticket. So they're going to announce the drink ticket. So what the, one of the rules here is, um, you know, you don't really, you shouldn't need to talk much more than to announce the drinks. Everything should be nonverbal. You should know exactly where your partner is and the system we've built makes sure that you have an idea of where your partner is. So you can see Steven's got all of his, all of his uh, you know, receptacles lined up for every drink, top to bottom, left to right. Meanwhile, Tyler's got his glassware prep in a matter of seconds. He's got one drink already ready to go. So these guys basically know exactly where they are in the, in the process without having to talk. That allows them to talk to guests while they're working. And this is this is a show that guests are just hypnotized by. You know, nobody has ever really seen anything like this uh, because we made it up. So this is you know really a, a demonstration of technique that is just riveting if you've never seen it before. It's it's you know you especially when you know you're on a busy night and things are going really smoothly. It's like watching two people with one brain. They say sometimes. And how many drinks do you have on your cocktail list? Currently, we have 12 signatures and then an original or a classics list of about you know 12 more. And then we've got an old fashioned menu plus flights. So we do quite a bit of, uh, you know, the menu is large. As a whiskey distillery, it's important to showcase, like I said, all the different ways you can drink whiskey. And so, uh, you know, flights, shots, gin and tonics, even, uh, you know, all kinds of options. So as you can see, Steven's doing all the garnishing. So. We kind of have to remind people the final step, you know, you're doing the first step and the last step and the last step is garnishing. So we have to train people, make sure you're garnishing your, your drinks when your partner's done because they're, they're too busy, you know. But then you can see also here, Tyler's, Tyler's anticipated. So it's not always gonna be, it's, it's roughly split up so that Steven's side and Tyler's side both have, you know, about the same amount of work in terms of how long it takes them. But with every order being different, it's always going to vary a bit and you can see they're still even though they're not talking they're in tune with what the other needs for their uh what the other needs for their um their side so you can see 11 13 and 11 16 here so that's three minutes to make five drinks that's really good and what are so, the thank you thank you good question so here we have this is called the fujinobu so this is uh these are all made by the way with uh Keeper's Heart Irish and American. This is the Fujinobu. This is a yuzu sour with coconut, uh, coconut foam and uh, toasted coconut. So coconut cream makes a, a natural foam without having to add, uh, you know, gelling agent or hydrocolloids or anything. Um, so this is a non-dairy whipped cream, and it's not as sweet as it looks. It's it's really a kind of a tart yuzu flavored sour. This is a delicious shot of um, Keeper's Heart Irish and bourbon in one of our favorite whiskey glasses, a Glencairn. This is called a Fleur d'Alley. This is um, inspired by the Ispahan uh, 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 macaron. This is um, rose tea, ginger syrup, balsamic vinegar, and fresh cherry juice in this one. It's very, very light and diluted, very subtle. And this is a, uh, what did I order here? <laughs> um, oh, it's a Manhattan. That's a Manhattan. Uh, and this, uh, sorry, this is not made with Keeper's Heart. This is a gin drink. This is a, a very, this is kind of like a Ricky almost. It's 
uh, herbed vinegar, it's salt, it's gin, it's verjus, and seltzer water. So this is salty and dry. 